Today, you will be learning how you can make your own firework in Roblox Studio. So if you want to know how you can make that in Roblox Studio, then make sure that you watch this video all of the way to the end to find out exactly how to make your own firework. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel and in this tutorial you will be learning how you can make your own firework in Roblox Studio. So how this is going to work, you can go to a firework model and you can press E to claim a firework. You can then place it down and then it will automatically ignite and launch up to the sky and then explode in the sky. So you have this really cool firework effect. It is kind of like the Bloxburg fireworks, if you rem uh, if you remember the uh, those from like 2020, 2021. Uh, we're basically recreating that today in Roblox Studio. So if you are excited as I am, then make sure you like this video. If you like it, by hitting the like button. And if you don't like this video, please give it a dislike. Because uh, honest feedback really helps me out a lot and it helps me manage things. And I just love honest feedback because I can improve on that. If you're new to my channel, just hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of these videos. Uh, you can join my Discord server to leave a suggestion, and then we're all cool. Make sure to become a member if you want to. Uh, hit the notification bell to never miss out on anything I upload. And without further ado, let's hop right into this tutorial. So let's go. So newbie, how do we set this little system up? So what you're going to do, in the in the description, there is a link, and you want to click on that link, and then you will uh, be redirected to roblox.com, and there is a model, and you can get it for free. You can just click on get, and then get for free, no Robux, because um, it's just a model. Then you want to go uh, back to Roblox Studio once uh, Roblox said, hey, we added it to your account, okay, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so you, now you got the model, and now you want to go to view at the top over here, view. Then you want to click on Toolbox, and then uh, you will immediately see over here four blocks. You want to click on the four blocks, and then you will see Firework Newbie. Uh, four scripts, just click OK. Then we can click this away. And then, uh, what we can do is we have to move him into the directories. So, let's see over here. As you can see, Workspace, we got Fake and a Part. So, this is the Firework model we're going to be using. So we're going to put this in workspace and delete the folder. Server storage. We're going to put it in server storage and delete the folder. And then I want to give credits to Lua Scripts for the effects of the firework. Not this one, but the one you will see, uh, you saw like in the intro. So now that we've done that, there are three scripts we're going to have to code, which is the client, the server, and the server. We're going to start off with the top one, and then we're going to go to server and then client. So, um, keep up with the video, you can slow down, uh, yeah, just make sure you follow, and you can slow down the video whenever you want, so let's go.
So that right there was all of the coding done for this tutorial and now we have entered the recap section and what we're going to be doing now is I will be explaining to you what the code does uh, so the people who want to learn from this code can actually learn something from it. So let's start off with the fake uh, part. Uh, we are just requesting a service called server storage which is this one over here. Uh, when you press E, we will check if you have no firework in your backpack and no firework um, holding. And if you don't, then we will give you a firework. That's basically what the code does over there. Uh, this one, if you click, we're checking if debounce is false. And if it's false, they're going to set it to true. So this can never run ever again. And then we will launch the firework. In the server script, again, server storage. So what does it do, guys? Yep, it requests the service. A function where we, uh, if you, if the firework is going to be ignited, we're going to destroy uh, the tool you're holding. So the tool you use to place the firework. We're going to clone an extra model, which is the model which is actually going up in the sky. We're going to put it in workspace and we're going to teleport it to you, uh, to your player. We're going to wait a second and then we're going to uh, play a sound, the launch sound. Then we're going to set anchored uh, to false so that it's going up. We're going to make sure there's a fuse, you know, the, the little sparkles under the firework. We're going to wait 2 to 5 seconds, which is a random number. And when that's done, then we are going to uh, remove that fire particle. We're going to make sure the firework disappears, and then you will get that cool explosive um, ignition, you know, like boom, firework. Uh, and then we're going to wait a second and then destroy everything. And we're going to connect this to the remote event. Now... Uh, that that's done, we can go and test this out. But I'm going to go to Lightning. I'm going to set the time to uh, midnight. Uh, all the way around. I'm going to do, yeah, 1 a.m. Like that, 1 a.m. We're going to click play. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to show you how this works. Okay, so we're loading in. There it is. So let me just enable desktop sound like that. Okay, you should hear it. Probably. So, as you can see, firework claim. So, let's claim one. Okay, we got a firework now. Look how beautiful that is. And now, if we try to get another one, we can't. If we unequip this, we still can't. So, now, if we click, it's going to wait a second and then launch. So, three, two, one, click. Okay. It goes up and boom. And that is how you make a firework in Roblox Studio. So, if you're fast enough, you can do this. Spam it. I think it's really awesome. So now let's maybe, maybe you can do like this. Oh yeah, like that. And then boom. That is so cool. Okay, let's try that one more time. And then click sh camera. And then boom. That is really sick. So that is how you make a firework in Roblox Studio. So if you did in fact enjoy this tutorial, make sure to leave a like if you like it. And if you don't like it, drop a dislike on the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on the notification bell. Become a member. Do anything you want. And all I can say is that my name is Newbie. And I say peace out. Happy New Year.